Hello everyone, this is Drawings by Alexander, and I'm trying to keep my cool because I've literally done this voiceover a hundred times, and I'm about to quit, but I want some good quality content for you guys, so I'm gonna stick with it. If you're wondering why I'm doing this video on Wednesday, it's because I now post on Sundays and Wednesdays, so make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check the description because my Instagram's there. Because I like post a lot of stuff I don't post on here on Instagram. So if you want to get like all of my art and not just like a small portion of it, then go follow me on Instagram. Um, this is the fail three marker challenge. I thought that I could get away with doing a three marker challenge with two dark colors and one really light color. But without any midtones, that's just like bound to fail. So I don't know what I was thinking. So you can just watch me fail. And then I, I like quit in the end and then I like fix it. So don't worry. And I'll do some close ups of like the skin because right because it looks really bad, and it looks like she has a black eye. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm kind of satisfied with the end outcome, but you'll have to wait for that. So you can see right now the skin looks really splotchy, and I tried to do, like, a whole lighting effect, but the color I was doing the lighting effect with was way too light. Like, it's, like, non-existent. You can't even see it. So, yeah. Um, I think the close-ups are coming up soon. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is when I quit. Yeah, the close-up is coming up now. Hi, how are ya? So as you can see, you can see all the splotchiness on the skin. So I had to quit. It wasn't working. And I wanted to save this picture, this illustration, you could say. Because I really liked it. And I'm thinking of doing a new thing. Well, it's like not related at all. Um, Sorry, I'm going to digress. But I'm thinking of doing a... Thing where I shout out some of my um, loyal subscribers who leave nice comments and stuff because I feel like they should be recognized and I feel like I have a pretty small channel right now no I, I don't feel like I have a really small channel I do have a really small channel so I feel like I should be shouting out the people who helped me along the way so maybe in my next video I will shout out some people who leave nice comments so if you want to get a shout out then you should leave a comment and if you're an artist, you can leave any, or if you're anyone, if you don't like anything, you can always leave critiques. Like, I'm really open to that sort of stuff. So don't feel afraid to be like, that sucks. And I'll be like, okay, I agree. Because <laughs> I feel like getting critiques is like a big part of getting better. And so I don't get why people are really defensive of their art sometimes. Like, I guess like if you put a lot of work into something, then like you wouldn't want people like, people to like be so critical of it but I feel like if you want it to get better then you should let people be critical because like I know a lot of people who like don't like people being critical of the art and I just don't feel like that's a good mindset to have if you want to improve so yeah but I'm not like one of these art to youtubers who talk about like the art topics and stuff I just talk about like random stuff and go off topic all the time so let's just switch the topic why not um, I should probably redo this. Oh my god, I don't feel like redoing this. I'm so tired. It's 5.30 and I apologize for getting this video out so late. Um, and I also apologize for my big head getting in the way. I might do this, uh, no, I will do a, um, face reveal at like 100,000 subscribers. So, make sure if you want to see my face, you tell a friend about my channel. Because I'm not doing a face reveal until 100,000 subscribers. So, all you get to know right now is how the back of my head looks and that I am white. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not like, whoa, Vicky. Or like that black girl from Dr. Phil. See, and like there's so many shots where I ruin it with my head getting in the way. But it's hard to not get your head in the way because if you look at it from a slanted angle... Then, you're, then the drawing gets distorted, so you may think it's looking good, but then when you look at it from above, it looks different. So you have to make sure that you're looking at your drawing on, like, that you're looking on your drawing from, like, above so you know how it looks and you're making sure that it's not getting distorted. Because, like, this has happened to me a couple times where I've been drawing and not paying attention, and then I look at the drawing from above, and then I realize it's all screwed up because I wasn't paying attention and everything is just distorted. And I, I'm so congested right now. Like, I'm getting out of a cold. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. See you on Sunday.